Hey there and welcome to Jovo Wednesday on Devil App. Uh, Jovo is the first open source framework that lets you build both Amazon Alexa skills and Google Actions. And last week I showed you how to build your first Alexa skill with the Jovo framework. This time we're going to build our first Google Action and deploy it to Dialogflow and the Google Assistant platform. And so let's get started. Um, you can go to our website to jovo.tech to find uh, more information about the Jovo framework and about how to deploy it. So you can go to learn and then docs, for example. And there we have a quick start guide that shows you how to uh, quickly install the Jovo CLI, which we're gonna need, and then get started with your first Jovo project. And we're going to do this step by step now. And so to install the Jovo CLI, um, go to your command line interface or to, um, or to your terminal, for example, and type in the following. sudo npm install globally Jovo CLI. And so this is going to install the Jovo CLI, which uh, has a lot of helpful features like building language models, deploying to voice platforms, creating new projects and running a local development server, which we're going to do in a bit. And so after this is installed, we can create a new Jovo project with the Jovo new command. Jovo new, and then we have to give it a name. So let's call it Dabble Lab Google. And this will download a new Jovo project. Um, so it will create a new folder called Dabble Lab Google, uh, then create um, a new project from the Jovo template Hello World, which is the Jovo default template. And then it will also install the NPM dependencies. And after the NPM dependencies are installed, we can go right into the project directory, change directory, Dabble Lab Google and take a look at the code. And so I'm gonna open it up in Visual Studio Code like this. And then let's take a look at our project. So this is how a typical Jovo project looks like. We have a models folder, which includes the language model. We can take a look at this in a minute. And then we also have uh, some project related files here, like a project JS, and then also a source folder. And the source folder is where your app logic is happening. And so in the app.js, we're going to define all the intents and states and, um, and define the output and so on. At least for small voice apps, uh, we're gonna have a lot of the stuff um, in the app.js. Uh, for larger projects, it makes a lot of sense to also uh, separate it into different files, and we're going to do this in a later episode as well. And so let's take a look at the app.js file. So um, here at the beginning, there's some app initialization to be done. So in Jovo Framework version 2, which we just launched, and we have a more modular approach. And so you can see that we have different platforms. Um, here we have a debugger, which you're going to see in a minute, and then we're using all of them here. And so um, this is also how you would install additional plugins um, of the Jovo framework, like database integrations, CMS integrations, and so on. And here's where the logic is happening right now. So we have one handler that has a three handler functions right now. And we have a launch intent that just redirects to a hello world intent. Uh, this hello world intent then asks the user for their name uh, with a reprompt that says, please tell me your name. And then we have a my name is intent if a, a person answers with their name, which is greet them and tell them it's nice to meet them. And that's it. And so, um, so the language model actually needs to um, two intents and so if you're completely new to voice app development a voice app typically consists of a language model which is sitting at the voice platform or a, a project so it's an alexa skill project and the google actions project and for google actions uh, we're going to use dialog flow for the language model and then we have uh, the app logic um, which is which does stuff um, after an intent is recognized for example so this is where we're going to build the response and return the response back to the voice platforms and for the language model jovo offers an abstracted language model and so if we take a look here in the models folder in the enus.json file we have an abstracted uh, language model that can later be translated into a dialog flow agent for example which we're going to do in a bit or an Alexa skill interaction model. So we have this hello world intent here. We have a my name is intent here with an input. So for dialog flow, for example, we use the built in entity and system given name. 
and we have some um, platform specific uh, intents as well like for dialog flow it's the default fallback intent the default welcome intent which is triggered to our launch intent so and that's it and so um, but let's just uh, first take a look at the logic and we can test the logic pretty simply without caring a lot about language models by using the Jovo local development server and the Jovo debugger and so if you go back to your terminal you can just type in Jovo run and this will start a local development server and create a webhook ID for you, um, which you can later use um, to um, submit to the voice project so that you can still uh, develop locally. Um, but right now we can also um, use that in the Jovo debugger. So you could copy that webhook URL and copy it to your browser or just enter the dot key and it would open the Jovo debugger already. And here you can see this is our like local debugging and testing environment and where you can test your, your app's flow. And so you can specify, for example, uh, what type of project you want to use. So let's just use the Google Assistant speakers like a Google Home, for example, and create requests um, for this. And so if we use launch, it works. It asks me for my name and then I can click on the my name is intent here and specify a name like Chris, for example save and run and it responds hey chris nice to meet you and so if we um, wanted to change that we could do that as well and so we could do hello there for example restart the server with control c and run it again um, to make sure everything is up to date and run it again and do launch and it worked, it says, hello there, what's your name? And so this is how we can test your flow locally. So there's still nothing happening on the language model side. Um, the, the Jovo debugger is just creating these requests here, running them against your local development server and testing if your flow works, if there's uh, any problems, errors, and so on. And the next step is usually to deploy it to a voice platform, to create a voice uh, platform project. And for Google Assistant, uh, we need to use Dialogflow. So Dialogflow is the natural language understanding service by Google, uh, where you can deploy all the different intents. It's going to build the language model and it offers an integration into Google Assistant. And so we could go there, create a new agent here, and then um, submit all the intents and entities um, by hand. Um, or we can use um, the Jovo Dialogflow export feature, which I'm going to show you now. And the Jovo has uh, two features for this. Um, one is called Jovo Build and the other is called Jovo Deploy. So with Jovo Build, it's going to use the Jovo language model and translate it into um, platform specific files. And so if we take another look into um, our project, we have a project.js folder. And so this specifies which platforms we should um, build um, language models for and so on. And so right now, for example, we can get rid of that Alexa skill stuff so that it only creates a Google Action and a Dialogflow um, platforms folder. And so let's do that now. Let's type in Jovo build. And this is going to create a new folder right now. And so if we take a look at the project here, there's a platforms folder. And um, this platforms folder has a Google Action folder, which has the dialogue flow, natural language understanding folder, which has all this stuff here. So here we have a agent.json file, which includes our Java webhook URL, for example. And so we could use this um, and, and import that to the dialogue flow um, system. And the easiest way is to use a zip. So if we do Jovo deploy, for example, this will um, zip the dialog flow agent um, and which you can then use to import it into uh, the, the dialog flow console. And so if we open the project up here and go to platforms, you can see that Google Action has a dialog flow agent.zip file. And so for example, we can create a new agent here just to dabble lab Google. And so a, a few things, uh, unfortunately, need to st still need to be done by hand, like creating a new agent. And then after this is done, we can go to the settings here, click on export and import, restore from zip, use the file that we 
just created with the Java deploy command, type in restore and do that. Okay, and so this is now building this new language model. So if we go to intents, it shows our hello world intent here. Um, it also shows our my name is intent here and that's it. And so if, uh, if we run our server again, we can also test it right here. So we can just do something like say hello. And it says hello there, what's the name? So it recognized the hello world intent, for example. And you can also see that there was some request being sent into um, uh, the local development server. And, and so this already works and we can do one more thing here. We can also test it on the device. And so I'm gonna unmute it here. The mic's back on. Okay, and so to do that, we need to create, um, go to the integrations tab here and open the Google Assistant integration. And so here we can just click on test and open it up in the actions on Google console. And it's enabling the test. And so we can do talk to my test app here, for example. Yeah. Hello there, what's your name? My name is John. Let's try it out. Hey John, nice to meet you. Okay, so this is the actions on Google Simulator. So this worked as well. And let's, let's also test it here. Um, let's do that. Okay, Google, talk to my test app. Sure, getting the test version of my test app. Hello there, what's your name? My name is Samantha. Hey Samantha, nice to meet you. Okay, so this worked as well. On the Google Home, we were looking at the Jovo debugger as well. And so this is how you can still get a visual representation of your testing when you're testing on a voice device. And so that was it. That's, that's how you can build your first Google Action with Jovo and Dialogflow and the Jovo CLI. Uh, and in the next few episodes, uh, we're digging deeper and we're taking a look on how to build stuff with states, how to um, do some more specific applications, audio player applications and all of that. So see you soon with Jovo Wednesday on Dabble App. Thanks a lot.